Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. So today is February 17th, Tuesday. Um, and my video today is, I'm going to share with you some projects that I uh, finished and some uh, other ones that I started, some whips. And um, also uh, share with you guys my upcoming other projects that I'm gonna be starting. So uh, let's get started. First, I want to share with you is the blanket I shared with you uh, a few days ago in my last video. I just needed to finish up the border, and um, so I did that. I was looking online for a tutorial to do the border. Um, I did not write down the name of the tutorial, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link a, I'm going to uh, put in the description below in the comments. Okay, so this is the blanket I showed you, the baby blanket I showed you last week, a few days ago. And this is the border that I did. So this blanket I shared with you in the last video, the colors I used. So what I did was with these two colors, I used the border. So, <clears throat> so then I did uh, one row of the beige and one row of the gray. And uh, it's a very easy border. Um, so what you do is, it almost looks like a lace, it's real nice. So what you do is, it's just a double crochet, skip two, double crochet, skip two, all the way around. It's easy and a, um, a lot of fun to do. So if you can see, you know, you skip two, two of the stitches here and then you double crochet, you skip two, you go over to the third, double crochet, and on and on, it goes on and on. So you go all the way around, and then I did the same with the other one. It was very easy to do, so for beginners, this is a very easy border um, that I found. I wanted to do something different than what I've been doing in the past, and I love the way it came out. I love how the colors came out. So I did text the mommy that I'm going to be delivering this to her tomorrow. I just got to sew in my ends. So, you know, just excuse that. That's all I have to get done. I've been very busy and I didn't have time to finish it. So I will be finishing sewing the ends today. And so this is how it looks with the border for the baby blanket. Yeah, so, and then it has the, like my last video I showed you, it has the two colors at the end and on the top. So that's the pattern. So, yeah. So, I love the borders, the way it looks. So it's very nice. So I finished that blanket. Just have to do the sew in the loose ends and that's it. It doesn't take a lot of time. And so I wanted to do a matchy hat and a matching slippers. So what I did was uh, the, the slippers, again, I followed tutorial from the other slippers I made, which was Jada and Stitches. And it's called the Crochet These Vintage Wrap Style Slipper. So I will also put that, um, type that in in the comments below, I mean in the subscription below. So, <laughs> they're so cute. So these are the slippers. So what I did was, just like the blanket, I um, did the bottom soil blue. And then I did two rows of the gray and two rows of the beige. So I did the wrap. And these are the matching baby cute little adorable slippers <laughs> I just have a lot of fun making these they're so cute so I have those and then what I did was and I didn't follow a tutorial for this one I just did it on my own but um, I did a baby hat for it and um, I'm not sure um, I was going to do 13 inches they say it's for a newborn but it seems kind of big. So um, I did 10 and 10. So what I'm gonna do is when I bring this to her tomorrow, I'm gonna bring the blue yarn. And if I have to um, add more rolls so she could make it make it longer, because I don't know, it's just, you know, it, it stretches. So I'm not worried about the fit here. I'm worried about, you know, if it's long enough for the baby. So, um, so these <laughs> the cute matching hat. So all this hat is a double crochet um, and then a 
a single a single crochet in the bottom so the same matching hat as the slippers and the blanket so i'll just show you it's so cute so um i look so cute so the same colors so i think that um she would love this i think that she would love this a lot so she will be happy to getting those tomorrow then because i had um their sisters, the one I'm, I'm donating these, um, I made these gifts for. They're my cousin's daughters. Um, so they're sisters, they live together. So I'm going to be dropping both of them off tomorrow. So this is the other one that I shared with you a long time ago on the other video that I made the blanket and the hat. I'm not going to show you the blanket because you've already seen it. But I was trying to make booties to match it. And so what I did was I tried to keep, uh, try to color control the yarn. So... What I did end up doing was I got into, I know last time I showed you that I, I had only these two parts made. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to make the top part this color. And so I did. And they're slippers. I mean, you know, I don't know if she's going to take them outdoors with them. But babies are babies. You have to carry them. They're not going to walk anywhere or anything. So it's not going to get dirty or anything like that. But so I made them like this and the bottom. And I tried to make them the same, but it's I couldn't so because of the yarn so um I did that and they're so cute and I wasn't worried about the white and bait in kind of like a baby green color because it's on it's 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 the same yarn so you see it on the hat the same colors so she will be getting those today as well and then I'm going to share with you um my a few videos ago I share with you a uh, Mary Maxim haul, my first order with them. It's a mystery box haul. And so I'm going to show you, you remember I got in the mystery box, I got the, the scrub it from Mary Maxim um, yarn. And then I got the other color, which is the multicolor, very graded color. And it's this one, and I just, so I have left of it. And because what happened was they gave me one uh, yarn of that one, yarn and two of these. So um, this one is the, and I was trying to find a color here, and it's like it's a dye lot texture. Okay, so. Let's see if I find a color. If not, I, I apologize. So, made in China. I don't know. I, I know this one was like hot pink. And I knew that one by heart, obviously, looking at it. But when I was looking at it, it says, one is says color. And this one says hot pink. Okay, this one says hot pink underneath. So, that's where the dye lot is. So, this one's called bright. Bright that's the name so they gave me those and so what I did was um, I was going to make some um, washcloths but um, I f and then I was going to make which I am still going to make my daughter I made these for my old my eldest daughter one for her one for me but what I was attending to make in the beginning was wa uh, dish washcloth and also pot scrubber cleaner which I'm still have going to make um, the pot, uh, pot scrubber with the scrubby yarn with these and give them to her but i'm going to show you what i made and i didn't i didn't check any patterns for this i just did it myself and so i made her this one so this one is how it came out i love it she loved it she saw it already and i told her not to take it because i needed to show it on my video to share with you guys and she said she loved those colors together i liked how the print came out um it almost looks like <laughs> like an x here and then these prints up here and it all depends how long you're using it on so what i did was i did uh it's a very sim simple pattern all i did was 20 it changed 26 and then i at the end i chained one and then i skip one um chain and then and i did this is a um a single crochet i'm not single crochet it's a half a double crochet half a double crochet 
So what you end up getting is when you go f back to the other row, you end up with tw with twenty five. So it was, this is, then I kept going back and forth, back and forth until I made it to the size I wanted, and then I made this little thing hook here so she could put it up to dry. So these are um, like I made these. They, I got the idea of of when you uh, use a loafer when you take a shower and you know the loaf of makes takes out all the dead skin and it makes your skin smooth so because this is a scrubby yarn um i tested it first on my skin and i tested it on her skin to see if she was comfortable with it and she said yes so she says she will love it as a loaf of, so that's what i made it for one for her and then this one i mixed the two colors together so the bottom part is the hot pink yarn and then i i uh did this border here with the other yarn so this is mine, and she wanted the multicolor. So I did those for her. These were fun to make and very quick to make. So if if you like those colors, I got uh, this was in my mystery uh, bag, Mary Maxim. You could go check it out at you know on their online store. And another project that I started was um, going to share with you. And this is the first time I'm making this. Um, my daughter, every day she see me working on these blankets and other projects that I'm making. And I could see it in her eyes like she's a little sad. And, and I knew she was, because she kept asking me when I was going to make her blanket. So um, the other day I was finishing up this the baby blue blanket and she kept walking back and forth. And um, then I said, Maya, come here. And I, and I told her to pick up the, the, the yarn because it's been a while and I forgot the three colors she wanted. And so um, she picked the three colors she wanted. And so I found it, she showed me, she went online herself and she found the pattern she wanted and she picked everything. So I'm gonna share with you and so what she uh, picked was this as a, a, a ripple stitch and she loved this pattern and now I fell in love with it and it's so easy this is the first time I'm making these guys this is I follow the tutorial and then I, I make I, I you know crochet the pattern and so this is the peach color that she picked and then she picked a J color and then she picked the light uh, purple um, color. And I'm, I didn't bring those other two yarns here. I forgot. But once I get, you know, um, I'll show you in another video once I show you my progress with the, with the um, blanket. So this is how it looks. And this is a, a, a throw blanket for her. So she, I measured it on her. She told me how why she wanted, and this is going to be about uh, about almost. She's five feet, almost five feet. So I might make it up to five feet. So I'm gonna give you a closer look. I love it. It's so easy, easy, easy peasy, peasy. If you're a beginner crochet, I'm gonna give you the tutorial uh, channel for you to look it up. It's very easy. I think on the second row, I already was doing it without even watching the video. I was so easy for me. And um, I love the tutorial. And she makes it easy for you to make it. It was very easy, easy pattern. And there's so many ways. I watch other videos. There's so many ways you could uh, do with this pattern. Um, they call different stitches for it. But it's a ripple. You could do the granny square ripple, I believe it is. And there's different ones that I didn't write them down, but you could just type in in search on YouTube search and you just put, um, I always put easy, you know, beginners first on there and I put a ripple stitch and all these different ripple stitch pop up. So, um, I typed in for blanket, you could type in for blankets, you could type in for scarves, you could type in for, um, wraps. It's just unbelievable what you could do with it. It's just different patterns, different different garments you can make this out of so yes I love the way it came out I'm actually on the 15 row so what she wants me to do is we're going to go up to the 20th row and then she wants the other color the J color make one row of that in make three rows of this so she it's a, it's a pattern that she picked and then um, make three row of the jade 
and then make a few rows of this and then you add the J about 20 to 25 more stitches. Then you do the same thing when you're gonna add the other color. So that's how she wants it. So stay tuned to uh, see how it's all gonna turn out. I'm so excited, I love this stitch. Um, you know guys, I gotta start making blankets for me because I make all these blankets for everybody and I fall so in love with them. I never even made me a blanket. All I made myself was um, the wrap that you see behind here, my first wrap, um, and scarves and hats. That's all I made myself. I never made me anything uh, like a blanket. And you know, my first time, I'm calling this a lofa <laughs> washcloth. That's what I'm calling this. I, th I think it came out so cute. It looks together as a match. I don't know. I might give them both to her and then make me an. I could give them both to her because I could just make myself another one. So that's what I've been working on. So this is my whip I'm working on. The other ones were finished projects. And I don't know if I have anything else to share with you guys. And then that's about it. So let me share with you where um, the channel that I, uh, the tutorial that I watch on YouTube for the ripple stitch. So it's. It's titled Simple Ripple Stitch Crochet Tutorial from Blossom Crochet Channel. Blossom Crochet. And that's where I'm following her, her tutorial for this one. And then I already told you for the baby slippers were from Jada and Stitches. So those are the two that I follow. I love following um, Jada with in Stitches because she is a very she explains everything very well and you know for the easy beginners tutorial she has is uh i love it because it is awesome for us beginners so um i call myself a beginner even though i'm not a beginner but i call myself a beginner for uh other for patterns i i used to crochet a lot of hats and scarves and things like that i even made a blanket before but it's just patterns that I'm learning. You know, all these are new patterns for me. So that's awesome. And, and different stitches as well. So so now I'm going to show you <laughs> my um, my grandson, um, his bear. The next, and this is where I'm going to share with you what's going to be my next project. I want to make a bear for my grandson. When he was a baby, we bought him different kinds of uh, bear loveys. They call them loveys. And you pull the tail and it plays a lullaby. Um, and he did not want them. But he saw my youngest bear, which is Maya. She's 14 now. I bought this spare for her. So when I, when I brought her out the hospital, and she was in the hospital, I have a picture of her in the hospital with this bear and her little cribs where, you know, whatever you call that, where they put them. So you could keep them in your room. And then for her crib at home, she has plenty of pictures with this bear with her plenty of pictures plenty of pictures as she was growing but then five years later my grandson's born and um when he became when he started to be able to play with toys and stuff he noticed the bear and he kept the bear and my youngest was so upset he wouldn't give her the bear back but i warn you the bear is in bad condition and this is why i want to crochet him a bear and hopefully i've been trying to have him throw this bear away his mom washes it all the time in a washing machine because he doesn't even look and he's not fussy like he used to be because again this is 14 years old so it's been through a lot you know when a baby has one of those security blankets this is a security bear so imagine so there was the bear. I even had to do a little surgery on him. I had to open him up because um, he was not this fluffy anymore. He was flat. I mean, he was terrible. And I, you know, I said, you know what, let me get that bear. And I put um, some of that pillow um, stuffing in him. And I fluffed his arms, his legs, and his, because I guess over the years and years, the mother's washing it in the washing machine. Um, he was cute when I first bought him, but even the bow was not in him. I tried it. I made him a bow. He doesn't like it. He took it off. So I'm like, okay. So it's one of the bears that plays a lullaby, and it, this doesn't work anymore because the mom threw it in the washing machine, so it doesn't work anymore. So I'm trying to replace this bear. <laughs> so my one of my uh, starting projects I'm going to do is uh, making a bear for him. I made... The bear head before but not a whole body bear 
because um, if you watch my um, this before I started making videos I didn't share that with you guys when I made it with a matching blanket for a family friend for a family uh, my my nephew's wife um, but I did have it in I took a picture of it and I did have it in my in my channel there is a slideshow videos so it's in there you see my two bears in there I made two different ones so I made the head I know how to make the head and um, everything else he was cute and then what I did was for the body I made uh, it's a, a lovey bear so what I did I made one to be soft for the baby so I made granny squares out of the body but I did make the head but this time I'm gonna be making the whole body so that's what I'm gonna be working out working on for my grandson stay tuned for that I don't know how it's gonna come out but <laughs> I'll do my best I mean I did the bear head pretty good so we'll see I don't know and um I'm just surprised how all these crocheting um, projects are coming out so well for me. It's like, um, I don't know, maybe I was born for it. I don't know. <laughs> so then the next project I'm going to be making, because this is in the arts and crafts family. Um, I didn't get my daughter anything for Valentine, my eldest, and she bought me this bag of candy and stuff. And I'm trying to lose weight. So I was like, <laughs> not happy with the candy, but, you know, I didn't tell her that. But I ate it anyways. Um... You know, you have to be grateful for what you get. But I told her next time, don't buy me candies. You know, there's other stuff she could buy, like candles and other things like that. So I bought this at the Dollar Tree. I shared this on one of my Dollar Tree hauls. And I never used it. So this is a picture frame. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it. And I bought these at Michael's. These are flower stamps. But I bought it at Michael's. And on there it says... These were $3.19, but I paid $0.97 cents for it. So what I'm going to do is I asked the lady at Michael's. She said, I said, I don't want to, I don't have ink, but I want to use acrylic paint. And she said I should be able to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this and show you guys how it came out. I don't know. I want to do other projects than just crocheting. So, um, you know, I love to do DIYs. I love to do uh arts and all kinds of arts um also i'm gonna buy me a sewing machine so i want to start doing some sewing which i love sewing i haven't sold it sold in, sold anything in years so um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna color this one color and then i'm gonna do the stamps in another and i'm gonna be roses stamps all over and i'm gonna do the back as well and then i'm gonna put a picture in here of my grandson and give it to her so that's one of the things i'm gonna be working on another thing I'm going to share with you guys is, um, you know, because we're all interested in different things, not just, I'm pretty sure you're interested in other things than just crocheting and making beautiful items, although that's a lot of fun, but I like to make other things. I like to uh, do other things as well. Um, last year, I know I shared with you guys a little bit of my garden last year and it was not successful. So I'm hoping it'll be successful this year. So I do watch a channel called Callie Kim 29. She lives in California. So it's K-A-L-I Kim 29. And she has a new video out. It's called Four Easy Grows um, Grow Lights. So I'm going to be uh, made a list of things I'm going to be buying to start a starter kit again to grow my plants, my vegetables indoors. And um, that's what I'm going to be working on. So I made a list for that. So I'm going to be having a whole video on that for those who like to grow their own vegetables. Um, I want to get very serious with this because um, I have too many family in my media family. There's three people already that were had to deal with cancer. And... Um, so when I went to see my doctor last, they said I was a candidate to do the the DNA testing they do for uh, to see if it runs in my family. Cancer runs in my family. So to see if I'm, if I'm a, a high risk in cancer. So that test is going to be done at the end of the month. So this year, um, I've been thinking this for years, but I'm going to try to see if I'd be more successful with I want to grow my own food and vegetables at least and can them and um to eat healthier because i'm really not liking how the food is tasting lately when i buy them at the grocery store um and that's just been recently and never complained about it before but it's just not tasting the same some items like i bought some potatoes last time i was like oh and then i bought some i don't know what they're doing to our food i know they they i found out that they spray them with some kind of chemical just to get the food 
keep it last longer and travel from one country to to our country and um that's terrible so um i'm going to be working in my own garden and to help me lose weight also um I don't even know how to eat anymore because the doctor tells me that i'm pre-diabetic so i gotta stay off the carbs not stay off low carbs don't eat so much but then my cholesterol is above the line um and so now my cholesterol cholesterol is a little high so i'm like what am i supposed to eat i mean meat causes you to have cholesterol and eggs and then now i can't eat carbs too much because of the pre-diabetic so i'm like in between like and so he's like oh you just gotta watch how much you eat you could eat it just how much you eat so what i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna start drinking a lot of smoothies like i used to i'm gonna eat a lot of vegetables and a lot of fruits and once in a while eat some of the uh different carbs and not so much maybe a few times a week and some um meats at least once or twice a week i don't know how else to do it to control this sugar and control the cholesterol so that's what i'm working on right now so guys um thank you for watching my video and please share and subscribe and all that good stuff and hit the little bell in the button button in the bottom if you are a new viewer um to so that way you'll be notified my next videos and don't miss any of my great videos um soon i'm going to be doing a cooking video i just haven't done it yet because i have one pot that i have to buy that i don't have so look out for my rice video so um different ways that you could cook rice simple easy quick and tasty so guys that's my video for today god bless and and have a great day and take care of yourself and love your neighbors and yourselves bye